There's the big boy. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. It's a big tree. Having to move all these blocks. Bigger job than I thought. But we'll get it done. All right, here's an interesting thing. Look at this. See all those roots? All right, they're not coming out of this tree. They're growing into it. Look at this. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> this is a dead palm tree. Look. We use these things on the edges of the roads. It's so environmental because they're just slowly decomposing, making all kinds of room for all kinds of beneficial uh, phenomena to happen here. Ecological phenomena, all these roots, uh, micro rhizo, tons of ants down there, whole environment that we create. Now look, we're trying to get this tree out of here. We had to, uh, for a job, and we're having to pull all this stuff out of the way, including all these blocks that we had to move. Uh, but it's showing uh, this beautiful medium. This was the Sarah Winchester Mystery House palm tree she planted in the late 1800s. And I was hired to cut them down because they're all dying and dead and replace them because they were so old. But uh, we lined our uh, parking lot here. We're trying to be as environmental as we can. Look at this material. Look at this, as it decomposes. This is just wonderful. The roots love it. They just they just cannibalize their own their own friends, you know. Uh, you can really see underneath here. I just think that is so cool. But uh, yes, we're putting everything we use to good to good use. And look at this. Oh, happy happy root. I wonder if you could eat that. It's so fresh and tender. I bet I could eat that. Ready? I'm gonna eat it. You have to cut it off anyway. Oh, I bet it's good. I bet it's all juicy and full of water. Oh my. Oh, it's really good. No wonder the gophers love it so much. It tastes like coconut. <laughs> what? Not like chicken, like coconut. I had no idea. I've never eaten a palm root before. There's another one. Whoop. Sorry. There's a big one right there, but this was especially good because I had the growing tip right there. That was just delicious. Anyway, yeah, if you uh sometimes we even sell these palm trunks uh down here. And you can use them in your garden as little seat walls or just retaining strips. They last about well you see what happens to them. These have been here for 10 years. And they're still structural up here. And then they get softer down here because that's where all the moisture is. And uh, all the biologic activity happens down on the ground. It starts to decompose. But as it decomposes, it makes the most wonderful potting mix. Look at that. It's just amazing. So nothing should ever go to waste if you can reuse it. And uh, it's really fun to pull these up after 10 years to see what happened here. But they became enormous rooting sponges there's like a giant sponge and this tree was just living off of uh partially living off the sponge effect of this uh I think Jorge's waiting for me here I don't know what he's doing what are we doing we're moving it all right I pick it up uh anyway the tree was living off of uh the whole thing you see also the the bark of the trees up there it makes a similar spongy material that holds moisture so much so that an oak tree has grown up there. And guess how much water we put up there? Zero. That means the fog, just the condensation of the fog is keeping that oak tree alive. And I'll show you this material. It's basically living in this stuff. It's like a big sponge. So you can actually fill this up with your in your, in your uh, hanging baskets and um, line your hanging baskets with it. A whole bunch of these, right? A whole bunch, the whole bottom. Look, it's like almost like decomposed paper. On your whole hanging basket, it looks really pretty. And then the plants will just get in here and just sponge off of this, and it's a wonderful sponge material to, uh, you know, for the plants to benefit by. Carson, are you going to save this to build all your flowering hanging baskets? Wasn't planning on it. No. But maybe. But, no, but now you know you can. Yeah. All right. So I told you that, that it's not always going to be easy. Today is a good example of that. <laughs> 
Hopefully we get this tree where it's got to go. It's got to go into a tight spot in Napa. You ever been in a tight spot before? I wonder if that guy has ever been in a tight spot before. He's probably wondering, what the heck am I doing? He's probably thinking, that guy's in a tight spot. All right, I'll just keep you offing. Anyway, there you go. Let's go see how tight of a spot I'm in. Tight spot, tight spot. Oh. Heard you, heard you got yourself into a tight spot. A yeah? Let's take a look at what you got going on here. So what exactly are you trying to do? Back into Just a driver. Burn out your clutch on your truck? Yeah. That's new. <laughs> what happened there? Somebody hit that with a tractor. It's a limit. I'm going to get a forklift and lift it up. So let's see. The, you're saying that the problem is that you want to get this giant palm tree up this driveway but that the driveway's not wide enough? Is that what you're saying? Um, so you're tight on this side. How's the other side looking? Probably have lots of room on that side, right? Not really. No? Truck's too big for the driveway? What, what's going on here? Yeah, cool. Oh yeah, I see the problem. <laughs> that is a tight spot. No wonder that guy's looking at you. You think you'll get it? I uh, think so. Maybe. I just keep going, inch by inch by inch, and straightening. Um, now I just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Move over like in a quarter of an inch every time I go up and down. I wish we could take this off. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess the idea is I just get back in the truck and keep struggling, right? Yeah. Basically, I got to like come up and then uh, turn my wheel, get this thing to turn as much as I can. But then I gotta turn it back this way so I can bring the front end out this way and back that way to then get a better angle at it the next time. And that's pretty much like, uh, look at these guys, they're like, what's the guy doing? What's the guy doing up there? What's he doing? I'm watching them golf. I'm watching them golf. They're watching me plant palm trees. The question is, who's having more fun? I think we're having more. Are we having more fun? I think Probably. so. All right, well, let's just keep up. Uh... Here, why don't you do a little demonstration of what's going on? Give me the cameraman. So that idea you had of backing the truck up here didn't work because it wouldn't fit around this corner? I would say that was my idea, but yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> is that your dad's idea? Yeah. That wasted what, three hours? We had to drag the tree all the way up here with this train, and now we're here. Now we got to get it down in that hole. That's, and it's 6.15 p.m. Yep. Just another typical day. Yeah. Think we'll do it? Eventually? Will it be dark by the time we do it? Probably. Probably. At least we have a beautiful print that we'll look at. Cool. All I can say is, too bad we didn't have a camera person after that one, huh? Yeah. What'd you think? What is, what's your... That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. A Trust lot. me. A lot more than... Me. That was brutal. Anyway, we started out showing the logs and the roots, and uh, now we got the finished product, and we're pretty much going to go home and sleep now. 
That's a male Dactylifera, a male Phoenix Dactylifera. It looks a lot like a canary palm. The beauty of it is that uh, it's immune from fusarium disease. And that's why we put it here, because they had a tree that was sick. So we uh, put this one here, and uh, this one will be fine. And I think that's going to be the end of another crazy video. Wish you were here. What? Hey, you know, we don't have a lot of time to play around here. Why are well, you just swing it? Why are you up there? I get the trap down. Save us some time. Oh, I thought you were just goofing around. Are you just a little short getting out there? Maybe a little bit. Do I need to boom you out? I'm going to boom him out. I guess sometimes people need to be boomed out, and this time he's got to be boomed out. 